Good afternoon, friends. Got a little unique project I'm going working on. Um, got this uh, bird fi uh, bird feeder with a camera in it that my daughter and son-in-law gave us for Christmas, and it's been working great. We get to see the birds and capture them on video or stills. The most recent problem we were having, and we noticed that the solar panel was drooping and actually the bird feeder was bent down also. So what I what I did yesterday was I made this cone figuring I would outsmart the raccoon. We got action the first night we put it up and uh, we thought we were successful because he took a look at it and it turned around and went back down. So my hopes were soon dashed though after watching the second video as he climbed right up and went right over the cone and then had a nice meal. I guess he was full, because he walked right down, easier than he walked up, on to the next idea. Well, here we are the next day, and from the pictures of the raccoon overnight, you can see that he wasn't detoured by the little cone. Looks to me like he could reach up over the top and grab onto the wood and pull himself up and up to the feeder he went. So today I made a new thing to try to detour him again. And... I will, hopefully it will work, but I will capture it on video one way or the other. Here we are with attempt number two to foil the raccoon from the bird fi feeder. So what I got here is a couple years back, I bunch of, bought a bunch of totes for firewood and they came with the plastic in them. Well, I didn't want to fill up the landfill with the plastic so I cut it up and saved it thinking that I would use it eventually for something and lo and behold I think this might be the trick so what I did was I cut out the biggest circle I could I cut out a square on the inside and then I used my heat gun to bend up these tabs and then I split it because I didn't want to take the whole Apart and I zip tied it together. So we shall see tonight if Mr. Raccoon can defeat this. After seeing him climb up over the cone, my I think I feel like about 50% confident that it may actually work. But we shall see.